I liked them so much I got another pair. Welcome to Man Cave Media. Today we are checking out another pair of the Fear of God Athletics One model by Adidas. Um, recently I posted a video, I say recently, it's, been a, it's actually been a while. Um, this year, anyway, earlier this year, uh, I posted a video on the Fear of God in the clay colorway, I think it was. Um, a very unpopular colorway that I got really cheap on StockX. And they were so surprisingly comfortable, I liked them so much, that I decided to grab another pair. Recently, they threw these on sale. So recently, Adidas put these on sale for $175, which is a pretty good deal considering that retail for these shoes is $250, which is a tough pill to swallow. Even in, you know, regardless of how comfortable they are, $250 is a lot for, for a sneaker. And especially when a Yeezy 350 V2, which I consider to be the most comfortable daily wear sneaker, um, is only 220 or 230 I think, is what they ended up, you know, raising the price to before all the stuff happened. You know what I'm talking about. But anyways, um, when you show me a sneaker that costs more than a Yeezy 350 V2, that's a tough pill to swallow, man, because the Yeezys are like right at the top of what I would be willing to spend for a retail pair of sneakers. And so to get these for 175, I'm all about that. So the colorway for these is carbon, sesame carbon. And they're kind of like a grayish white uh, looking at pictures. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get them out of the box, shall we? And check them out. I apologize for the weird camera angle. Uh, I updated my MacBook to Sequoia. And that turned out to be a big mistake because now my Canon software does not work with my laptop at the moment. And I'm kind of waiting, I'm at the mercy of them. I'm kind of waiting for them to post an update to the software. Ah, now it wants to move, no problem. Um, I'm waiting for them to post an update to the software so I can get my, my overhead camera working properly again. But for now, the iPhone is the stand-in, which arguably is better quality image, but that's not the debate we're doing right now. So anyways, a typical Fear of God one model box. I tore the paper taking it out. <laughs> uh, you saw the struggle right there, but we have a Adidas Three Stripes logo and then the other Adidas logo there on the top corner. I'm not going to try to save this tissue paper because I don't care about it that much. And then there's a the, th the Fear of God Three Stripe logo on the top. It's a really nice unboxing experience if you've never had a Fear of God One model. Of course, they come individually packaged in these like space bags, giant, giant silver Ziplocs. <laughs> There's sneaker number one. I really, really like this color. Really, really like this color. It's almost like the the cement color that's really popular on all cars nowadays. Really dig it. Oh, this one was not sealed. It's not fresh. It's gonna be stale. Sneaker number two. Really dig these. Check and make sure nothing else in the box. Get all this paper tucked away. 
I know I talk a lot of smack about keeping boxes. I usually don't keep boxes. However, I did keep my other Fear of God box and I will keep this one because it's a cool box, man. I mean, it's part of the experience. And it's uh, highly unlikely I'll ever resell them, but if I do, of course, they're always worth more when you have the box. All right, here they are in all their glory. The Fear of God 1 model in the Sesame Carbon Sesame colorway. And man, oh man, this is a good looking sneaker. I don't understand why this particular color isn't selling better. Um, and I don't care. <laughs> uh, all I know is I was able to get it for a great price. So on with the show. So they very neatly pack like lots of tissue paper in these shoes. The whole uh, unboxing experience is a, a thing to behold with fear of God. They put a shoehorn in here to kind of make it keep that Sonic the Hedgehog shape. And they really shove this thing in here. Like, I remember on my other colorway, they were pretty hard to get out. And uh, these are no different. Ugh. So they shove this way down there at the very end of the toe box to kind of make sure it holds that, that Sonic the Hedgehog shoe shape. <laughs> uh, so this is a very um, a very clean looking colorway. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of the really popular like concrete uh, colors that you see on a lot of different cars nowadays. I know uh, Honda and Toyota, they make a really cool like concrete color. Uh, so does Ford, I believe. And it's a really popular color. You see it all over the place now. These remind me of that. Uh, really clean looking colorway. And then on the toe box, it's like this carbon color. So on the outside of the shoe, you have the Adidas three stripes worked into the design. Uh, it is synthetic materials, but it is really soft synthetic materials. It's really nice, uh, nice feel. Feels really good to the touch. And on the midsole, you have that creamy uh, off-white semi-translucent sole midsole. Uh, with some of the cushioning like peeking through. Looks really nice. As I mentioned already on the toe box, you have the carbon color. And again, synthetic material, but really soft to the touch. More of that milky white semi-translucent midsole. On the inside of the shoe, again, the three stripes worked into the design, uh, which is a really nice uh, design aesthetic. I like it. And then uh, more of that same milky white semi-translucent midsole. Uh, on the tongue, it comes pre-laced with these rope laces that are the same color as the upper. And I'm probably going to look for some black rope laces to, to substitute in for these. Because uh, uh, longtime subscribers of my channel, you know I like to see some contrast. So they come pre-laced with, th with these uh, rope laces. It has... a uh, what I like to refer to as a burrito tongue, which is, uh, it's just attached all the way around. There's no like independent tongue. And uh, it's all the same color as the upper. At the very top, oh sorry, it comes with a lace lock that's also the same color as the upper. And at the very top you have this, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it, it like makes the shoe tighter around your ankle when you adjust it. So I tend to leave it loose because I'm not, you know, my basketball playing days are way behind me. I'm not, I'm not balling in these shoes. Um, I buy them a size up, in fact, uh, for extra comfort. So I leave it loose, but when you do cinch it down against your foot, it does make it really nice and secure. So that's a nice little added feature. <clears throat> On the back of the shoe, more of that like concrete gray upper more of the milky white semi-translucent midsole and then in black right here it says fear of god and then it has kind of a pull tab <laughs> i don't consider this to be very functional um i mentioned that on my other colorway and I, you know you can't i can't get my i know i have sausage fingers but i, I mean you can't get a finger in there it's not a functional pull tab it's more for looks but it is a nice look 
And moving around to the inside of the shoe, there's this padding uh, on the ankle area and it's really comfortable. It's a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. Um, that's what made me buy this colorway because I like the other ones so much. They're, they're, they're surprisingly comfortable. And then the, uh, the insole is black and it says Adidas in uh, the same like concrete color. I think that's all it says. Yeah, it looks like it just says Adidas in that same like concrete colorway. Uh, the outsole is very basic pattern. All semi-translucent, like milky white color. Overall, very clean looking shoe. Uh, so on the website, they call this an ankle bungee. So there's that. Uh, again, when you cinch it down, it does feel very secure around your foot, but I don't use it. Uh, so the entire upper is a premium knit and it's topped off with this like neoprene upper that uh, circles the entire top of the shoe here. And it's actually the same material that goes down the center where the tongue would be, you know, the burrito tongue. It's all that neoprene material. And then um, the cushioning material is called Light Strike. And uh, like I said, when you push on it with your hand, it doesn't feel like it would be comfortable. But when you wear these things, they are very comfortable, like surprisingly comfortable. So on the website, they do recommend that you go a half size up. Um, I, like I mentioned, I go a full size up. Um, because as I said, I don't play basketball in these. So I do highly recommend that. Currently on the Fear of God website, they don't seem to be listed on Adidas's website anymore. I clicked on the link for Adidas and it just took me to an error page. So I don't know if there's something going on with their server right now or if they're just not available on Adidas any longer. But on the Fear of God page, they are available. They are retail now. They're not on sale anymore. Uh, the sizing they have available right now is eight and a half through 10. And then they have an 11 and a half, a 13 and a half, and a 14. So I'm glad I got them when I did because 13 is sold out. That's the size I got. I'm a 12 true to size, when a size up. These are a 13. So I'm glad I grabbed them as soon as I saw them go on sale. Uh, they were advertised, oddly enough, through the confirmed app for that sale price. I'd never seen anything like that before. And if it weren't for that, I probably wouldn't have noticed them because I got a notification from the confirmed app um, that the Fear of God collection was available and they were on sale. So that was really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get some close-ups and some on-feet of these beauties, shall we? All right, so, um, I mean, as I was expecting, they feel exactly the same as the other colorway. Uh, obviously, they should. <laughs> um, they're really surprisingly comfortable. The more I wear them, the more comfortable they get as I break them in. So I really dig these shoes. The price was killer. Uh, they don't seem to be available on Adidas's website anymore for that price, but they are still available on Fear of God's website for full retail price. 
Uh, you could probably head over to StockX. In fact, let's check that out really quick. You can probably get them below retail right now on StockX, I'm sure. Because uh, that's how I was able to get my first pair. Yeah. Way below retail. So if, if you didn't watch my first video on the Fear of God 1 model, I'll link that video with this one so you guys can go back and watch that. I got an excellent price on these on StockX because for whatever reason, the unpopular colorways of this shoe, they don't move. They're like the definition of brick. They, they literally don't move. And right now on StockX for this size, in the size 13, they are asking $310 for whatever reason. But if you look at like the recent sales, one sold for $167. So, I mean, you can just go and throw a bid on these. You'll probably win. Right now, the highest bid, let's see. So right now, the highest bid is $114. <laughs> so uh, this guy asking for $310, nah, man, uh, nah. You can go in right now and throw a bid down on these for probably 150 and I'm sure you'd win. So with the fees and the shipping and all that good stuff, it'd probably be around what I paid for these. So head on over to StockX if you were looking for a pair and you like the price that I paid, you don't want to pay retail. Uh, that's my suggestion. Head on over to StockX and score yourself a deal. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great evening, and like always, thank you for watching.